Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of tonight's Lucha on the Ground uh, episode. This is Season 3, Episode 33, called Havoc Running Wild. And I thought tonight's show was a good show. I uh, really enjoyed it. I have to say it was a lot better than last week's uh, show, uh, where it was the uh, final of the Quito Cup, where Prince Puma won the Quito Cup. Uh, he defeated uh, Pentagon Dark. And... Uh, we had uh, Rey Mysterio versus Johnny Mundo for the Lucha Underground title, which that was a good match in the beginning, but ended uh, disappointingly. So, but tonight's show, uh, I have to say, was much better than uh, last week's. Uh, we get, you know, build up to Ultimate Lucha Dress, uh, which is coming up in four weeks, and, uh, you know, from what I heard, Prince Puma versus Johnny Mundo is going to be the main event of Night Four of uh, Ultima Lucha Tres. So that's going to be uh, that's going to be really cool. Uh, but tonight's uh, episode opened up with Dario Cueto. Uh, he meets with uh, his brother Matanza, who's still in the cell. Uh, Dario admits that he was wrong about Rey Mysterio, but you know he knew that uh, Matanza just wanted to protect him. And uh, Dario ends up uh, telling Matanza that uh, Rey Mysterio uh, humiliated him last week because if you remember last week at the end of the match, uh, if you remember last week, like during the match, Rey Mysterio uh, hit the 619 on uh, Dario Cueto, you know, just taking him out. And uh, Dario ends up booking Matanza versus Rey uh, in two weeks. And Dario ends up telling Matanza that, you know, he. He tells Matanza to destroy uh, Ray, and you know that really sets off Matanza. You know he's shaking the bars, you know the cell, and uh, it was really crazy though. But it was a uh, it was a good way to open up the show tonight. And uh, we get to the first match. It is uh, Son of Madness versus Mascarilla Sagrada. Uh, this was uh, an okay match. Uh, wasn't perfect or great or anything, but uh, Son of Madness end up attacking uh, Mascarilla Sagrada uh, during the you know when the bell rung, and you know it was just Madness just beating the hell out of Mascarilla Sagrada. Uh, you know, it just starts you know kicking the hell out of uh, Mascarilla Sagrada, and uh, you know he hit a, a backbreaker, and uh, Sagrada ended up in a tornado DT. Uh, which was awesome. Uh, Madness, you know, continued to dominate on uh, Mascarilla Sagrada. Uh, Madness ended up uh, hitting a uh, kick and a suplex uh, for the win. So Son of Madness uh, wins the match. And uh, pretty much uh, after the match, you had Son of Havoc, you know, attacking Madness. And they end up uh, brawling. Uh, Dario ends up coming out of his office and he brings out the security to break up uh, Madness and Havoc fight in. And Dario announces that uh, later on the main event is going to be a uh, Bikers Brawl match. Uh, it's going to be a Boyle Heights Biker Brawl match. And pretty much like a no holds barred match. So uh, that's uh, really awesome. And it's actually for uh, one of the, uh, the Aztec, uh, the ancient Aztec medallions. So, uh, one of them will win uh, that uh, other medallion. So, but all in all, uh, Son of Madness versus Mascarilla Sagrado was an okay match. Uh, not great or anything. Uh, but the next match, it was Mario the Mar Martinez versus Arianis. Yes, Arianis is back after a. Uh, you know, after being out for three months, you know, when he suffered his uh, second broken arm from uh, Pentagon Dark. And this match, uh, it was an average match. I uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, Marty was just, you know, going at it. You know, just start beating the hell out of Argenis. Uh He had uh, Marty trying to rip off Argenis' mask. And uh, Mariposa, you know, ends up. Uh, distracting Arianis while uh, Arianis and Marty were outside, and 
uh, Mariposa ends up uh, running Yanis into uh, the uh, ring post uh, outside of the ring and we see when Marty uh, puts you know takes uh, Arianis back in the ring we see Arianis all busted open and bleeding like crazy and uh, Arianis then hits a uh, neck breaker on uh, Marty but uh, Marty ends up hitting a sort of a code breaker like a variation of a code breaker for the win and so Marty the Moth ends up Marty the Moth Martinez ends up winning the match and after the match you had uh, just Marty ripping off Arianis's mask and uh, we see the ref give Arianis like a towel to cover himself up and uh, Marty gets on the mic and you know he starts saying to uh, Melissa oh you know do you like you know that I ripped off you know the mask and uh, you know he wants Phoenix Marty wants Phoenix's mask at Ultimate Lucha Tres and Marty ends up calling out uh, Phoenix and you know Phoenix ends up coming out and you know he kicks uh, Marty and also kicks Mariposa and they both retreat out of the ring. Uh, Phoenix gets on the mic. He accepts the match uh, with Marty and he tells uh, Marty that it's going to be uh, his mask, you know, Phoenix's mask versus Marty's hair. So at Ultimate Lucha Thress, it's going to be uh, Marty Mar Martinez versus Phoenix. Uh, it's going to be a mask versus hair match. So that's going to be uh, really aw awesome to see. Uh, Ultimate Lucha Thress is shaped up to be an awesome uh, time for uh, the next four weeks so just a lot of build for uh, ultimate lucha dress uh, really am enjoying it really am enjoying the build and of course you know you get uh Mari just hitting on uh, Melissa Santos who was the uh, the ring announcer for uh, lucha on the ground <laughs> which is really funny though whenever you know he starts hitting on Melissa Melissa's like oh no, she looks not that interested in him you know she's kind of like creeped out <laughs> but it's, it's really funny though and then the next was uh, sexy star versus Joey Ryan uh, this was you know it wasn't a good match by any means uh, but you know it was just okay uh, wasn't you know the best match but uh, it was just a uh, sexy star you know just uh, taking control of uh, Joey Ryan, you know, star, sexy star attacks uh, Joey Ryan when the bell rings. She's like working uh, strikes and you know leg kicks, and she hits a tornado DDT on Joey Ryan, which was uh, really cool. Uh, she followed with a head scissors, and she she just slaps uh, Joey Ryan. She actually uh, bitch slaps Joey Ryan, which was. Uh, really funny uh, Taya from of course the worldwide on the ground ends up coming out uh, she's just out there mocking sexy star with a uh, ghost sexy star with a, with a ghost sexy ghost sign out there and you know just distract she's just distracting sexy star and also Joey Ryan and what was really funny was uh, sexy star actually uh, you know was tossing uh, Joey Ryan around by his chest hair, which was really funny, which was uh, hilarious. And the uh, match ended with Sexy Star going up to the top. We think that she's going to finish the match and, you know, jump on top of Joey Ryan, but she actually uh, attacks Taya outside of the ring. Uh, she jumps on top of Taya, and, you know, she hit Sexy Star takes the paper sign and hits Taya with it. The sign. Uh, gets destroyed. Sexy Star goes back in the ring and just Joy Ryan uh, wins the match with a super kick. So, but yeah, it wasn't wasn't a good match. Uh, it was just you know okay, it wasn't uh, great, uh, not the best. Uh, I guess they're gonna set up you know a feud with Sexy Star and Talia, which that's gonna be uh, pretty interesting to see. And uh, Sexy Star, uh, this past weekend, has been getting a lot of, uh, you know, has been getting 
blacklisted because of what happened uh, last Saturday where uh, I guess it was a triple A uh, show it was triple mania and uh, sexy star applied her on bar submission on uh, on the GFW star named uh, Rosemary and when sexy star applied that uh, submission uh, it actually uh, broke uh, Rosemary's arm it was uh, legitimately you know out of place so that you know so sexy star has been getting like blacklisted because of it uh, because you know it's the report said that uh, when sexy star applied the uh, the submission uh, Rosemary tapped and you know sexy star just kept her in that uh, kept uh, Rosemary in that you know in that submission but uh, reports are saying that you know might have been a work but you know who knows but uh, all in all uh, Joey Ryan versus Sexy Star uh, wasn't a good match I mean it was okay it was just okay uh, not great though and then uh, you had after the match uh, Joey Ryan tries to pull out his lollipop that he keeps in his uh, trousers and you know he's tries to put it in sexy star's mouth but uh cortez castro ends up coming out and attacking him with a kendo stick and sends uh it sends joey ryan just scurrying out of the ring so but yeah that was uh pretty good it's gonna set up a uh castro uh joey ryan feud which that could be uh really cool and then when uh the show when Lucha on the ground comes back from commercial we go to a scene where uh, Dario meets with uh, Cortez Castro in his office in uh, Dario's office uh, Dario is impressed and uh, Castro uh, threatens to arrest uh, Dario for killing uh, Mr. Cisco and Dario ends up booking uh, Joey Ryan and him in a street fight for next week in a 5 to 0 street fight and it will be for an Aztec medallion and Cortez Castro then accepts so that's going to be uh that's going to be awesome to see next week a street fight between Joey Ryan and Cortez Castro it's going to be cool and then it was the main event which was uh, Son of Havoc versus Son of Madness in a Boyle Heights uh, bikers brawl it was for the Aztec medallion and this was the best match of the night. This was an awesome match. Both these guys just destroy each other. Uh, it was just awesome. We went outside, uh, went into the crowd, both of them. Uh, you had Havoc uh, ro rolling through with a 450 split, with a 450, and you had Havoc follow with a suicide dive. Uh, you had. Uh, what was it madness uh, go under the ring and he grabs a beer bottle and a toolbox and uh, you know he tosses a trash can in he hits <laughs> he hits a uh, DVD onto the trash can uh, for near fall which was uh, really cool madness uh, grabs a hammer uh, but you know havoc avoid that and cut it uh, madness off uh, havoc then grabs a beer bottle and breaks it over Madness's face. You heard all the glass shatter really loud, which that was really crazy. And then uh, Son of Havoc wins the match with a shooting star press. So uh, it was a good match. It was a good main event. Uh, probably the best match of the night uh, tonight. The crowd was really behind uh, both of them. And, you know, both guys uh, did the stipulation really well. Uh, it was just really awesome. Uh, it was really good. Son of Havoc now uh, has a uh, Aztec medallion, so that's really awesome. And uh, he, you know, Havoc gets you know his colors back, and you know it's now he now has a direction as you know he locks. He's now unlocked into the Gift of the Gods title match at Ultimate Lucha Dress. So that's gonna be uh that's gonna be awesome. So yeah, but all in all, Son of Havoc versus Son of Madness in a uh, in a bikers brawl match. It was awesome. 
uh, really, really uh, awesome match. Uh, you know, Boyle Heights Bikers Brawl match. You know, like a uh, no holds bar match, but it was done really good. So, yeah. So, anyways, that's it for my review of tonight's Lucha on the Ground episode. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and until next video, I'll see you all later.